Okay, you guys, I'm here to review Zombieland, the TV series pilot. You can watch it on Amazon.com for free. I think everybody can watch it for free. If not, then you gotta be a Prime member. I'm already a Prime member, so I don't know if it was just because of that or what. But <clears throat> the show basically takes place like a few months. They don't say how many months, but a few months after the events of the original Zombieland, of course. Um, but the opening is awesome. You got these people talking in an office, and behind them, the whole zombie apocalypse is going on right behind them. So they're exchanging all these weird and crazy dialogues about diarrhea and shit like that. <clears throat> and then we get introduced to the actors that's playing their the roles: Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, Abigail Breslin, and Woody Harrelson play in the first film. And these are very cheap characters of the movie characters. One person that stuck out to me most was Mayara Mayala Walsh. She played the love interest for um, Corey and the Disney Channel spinoff from That's What Raven called Corey in the House. And she had like an accent in that show. She is hot now. She's 25 years old. She is way over age. I thought she was still like only 18, but that girl was 25. I'm like, holy shit. She grew up quick since I last seen her on Corey in the House. I used to watch that show. I hated it, but I watched it anyway. But, <laughs> yeah, so psh, she's awesome. She's She takes over um, Emma Stone's character. And she kind of does a better job. I mean, yeah, Emma Stone was good to look at, but she wasn't that great in a row. But Maya, Maya Walsh, Walsh is better at it, so I think she fits it just fine. Originally, this was supposed to be on TV, but I don't know what happened, so Amazon picked it up. So the budget is low, okay? And let me tell you how low this is. The, it, everything is cheap. The city is, like, cheap. The zombies look a little cheap. And I swear, the whole 28 minutes I was watching the show, it felt like I was watching the Warriors. Why? Because I do believe that lady from OnStar, there's a OnStar voice that they talk to. She's like their eyes in the sky. She tells them where to go and how to be safe from the zombies. It almost sounds like that exact same woman from the Warriors. You know the one on the radio that goes... Well, boppers, the warriors are coming this way. Be ready so they can kill them. Yeah, if that's her, she has not lost that voice. She still sounds the same since the 1970s. I swear to God that's her. Okay, and I'm going to look that shit up after this review. I think that's her. It's killing me because it's so fucking awesome that it sounds just like her. I think it is. So if y'all watch the episode... And y'all hear it for yourself? Let me know if y'all think that's her or not. If y'all seen the Warriors. But you can't take this show too seriously at all. This show is quirky as hell. Okay? The dude gets attacked by two um, senior citizen zombies. Okay? And he has their walker. He puts it up against the male zombie. And the male zombie pushes him to the ground. He literally takes the tennis balls off the bottom of the walker and throws them at his head. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're in for for this one <laughs> but the movie is funny it's quirky it knows what it is I like it I do hope they make more because right now the pilot just came out on the 19th so it's still vaguely new I didn't know about this pilot at all the only reason why I knew about it oops it's because I got I, um, seen a review of the TV show from another YouTuber and he left the link so I was like, oh, okay. So I clicked the link and I watched it. I thought it was going to be like 42 minutes, but it's only 28 minutes. So it's like a half an hour show. So I hope they do make more because I love it. It's fun. It's stupid, but it's fun. So I'm giving the pilot a B plus. It's just a good, good show. Y'all, I highly suggest y'all watch the Zombieland TV series on Amazon if you haven't known about it already. So yeah, that's my review of the Zombieland TV series pilot. Let me know what y'all think about the pilot down below. Did y'all like it? Have y'all seen it? I'm pretty sure y'all probably even heard of it until I got this review. I sure as hell didn't until I saw his review. So yeah, that's all. I'm out.